and I really love the way everything pulled together. Oh my goodness, this is seriously, seriously, this is seriously. <laughs> Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. We're testing out the brand new Natasha Denona Holiday Kit. This is the Mini Metropolis. I am so excited, you guys. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow looks I have ever done, and it's all due to this little mini palette. Oh my goodness, these colors are breath taking. But before we get started, if you're new here, I'm Christy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can join our beautiful glam fam. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And please give this video a huge thumbs up. Go ahead and click that like button and follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on my blog, ChristyAllure.com, and on TikTok, Christy Allure. And without further ado, let's get started. Back on right into it. I am very excited because I had my eyes out on the Natasha Denona Metropolis full-size palette, that one right there for $129. This was released in her 2019 holiday edition and I wanted it so badly, but I already owned a lot of Pat McGrath ones and I just had already spent so much money on makeup that it was just hard to justify. So when this mini popped up, I was like, I am on it because those are all the colors I wanted from the Metropolis palette. There are two new additions to this little mini, so very excited to jump into that in just a second. What's great about this is all her minis run $25, but this one comes with a little brush. So you're basically getting the eyeshadow brush for free and it is really nice. It is really soft. We'll see how it performs, but the quality is really nice. I've never tried one of Natasha Denona's tools. So excited to kind of try that out as well. And it's a little bonus gift you get. And I think this is a really great Christmas present and a really great, or like a stocking stuffer and a really great thing to treat yourself during the Sephora VIB and Rouge sale. So I can't wait to see how these perform, you guys. They're so beautiful. These colors are everything to me. If you're new to my channel, I love greens and blues and I love to play with color, but I also like neutral tones as well. Let's just dive right into the swatches right there because I know that's what a lot of you want to see. So those are the arm swatches that is just inside my house. And then I'm also going to show you outdoor footage of what the swatches look like in natural daylight. And I hope you appreciate that, just so you can kind of see a little bit of the difference. One thing to keep in mind with most of her minis is because the pan sizes are so small, it does take like the first layer to get through and then you get that creaminess and that pigmentation you want and expect from a Natasha Denona palette. It is stunning, you guys. These are absolutely buttery, smooth, amazing shadows. Amazing. That middle Jubilee, oh my goodness, my robe inspired me today. You guys know I'm all hooked on my Amazon robes right now. That's what I'm wearing. And I was like, yes, that is the most gorgeous color I have ever seen. It is so, 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 so pretty. So let's just quickly go into the details. This is Natasha Denona's Mini Metropolis Christmas Kit Mini Eyeshadow Palette and Eyeshadow Brush. It is limited edition. It is $25, a $39 value because you're getting the brush for free, basically. And the brush is synthetic and it mimics the softness and feel of squirrel hair. And I think it really does, you guys. It is a excellent quality brush. I'm so excited to try it out on my eyes. The shades in this palette are inspired by New York's color scheme of the 20th century and it includes two new shades, but three existing shades from the Metropolis palette. So I'll show the mini 
compared to the Metropolis. I do not own the full size Metropolis, but just the pictures. And as you can see right there, Blaze, it is a champagne gold with a high shine and that is a crystal shadow. Then you have Rope, which is also an existing creamy matte shade and that's more of like a warm beige matte. And then you have Jubilee, which is also the one I'm just, oh, just fallen head over heels for. And it's a vibrant, teal metallic then you have two new shades bowl and that is a cedar dark brown and that's a creamy matte it is delicious you guys it is a gorgeous gorgeous neutral almost leaning cool tone brown and then you have corrode and i hope i'm saying these names right and that is a rusty medium brown and that's also a her creamy matte formula but it's more like a bone color i wish this was just a little bit darker but depending on your skin tone this could work like if you have deep skin tones this can actually lie as like a nice base but if you have lighter skin tones it's gonna be a beautiful transition shade or even to kind of blend out the edges which will be nice which is probably what we're gonna use it as today so let's jump into this eyeshadow tutorial but before we do that I did want to just take a quick look at the makeup forever matte velvet HD powder this is a brand new powder and I told Regina I would try this out on camera I know she just purchased it Regina let us know because you um, I think she does have more oily skin how this works on oily skin I don't have oily skin I have more dry normal to dry skin sometimes combo but right now it's very dry so we'll see how it works out on my dry skin this is the makeup forever ultra HD matte setting powder for $37 it's available in six shades again I went with 2.0 banana which is light to medium skin tones with warm subtle golden undertones this is a 24 hour wear 24 hour mattifying 24 hour pore minimizing 24 hour blurring effect no flashback so that's gonna be different from the original waterproof sweat proof and smudge proof again everything will be below in the description box as always you guys it really does help my channel not only when you hit that like button and comment below but also when you utilize my affiliate links and if you don't like any of the products that I mentioned which will be on the top section you can scroll down and see that I do have the actual store links whenever you use that link no matter what you buy I do get credit for that so I really appreciate it there is no extra cost to you there's no code needed you just click on that link and make your typical purchase let's try out this powder so I did already again set my under eye but I haven't set the perimeter of my face yet and I thought we'd try this powder so this is a nice perfect color I think for me the more I play with it the more I like it now it's not as finely milled as my hourglass one so when my skin is really dry this is not my favorite but if my skin was combo to oily I think I would really really even love this more but it does diminish the pores. I have to say that it is pore minimizing. It's just not as finely milled as the hourglass one. So that's the only thing, but it's not bad either. I do like it. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Makeup Forever and Makeup Forever powders. That matte velvet powder is still the ultimate powder. If, like if I was getting married, that would be what I would wear on my wedding day to set my makeup because there's just nothing better than that. And my skin is um, nice and moisturized. So I think the other day when I tried it, I didn't like it as much because my skin was so dry and peeling from the Trentinone that I'm on that I think that's why I didn't like it. But today it's in, it's in good, good condition right now. So let's get started. Let's get into this eyeshadow look. I just wanted to mention that Makeup Forever powder because I know this for a VIB sale is coming up. I've been using this, you guys. So this was actually recommended by one of my subscribers. So thank you so much. This is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. I've been kind of talking about it or mentioning it in the last couple of videos because it's really good oil free primer that when you use cream shadows, this would be like the only one I would recommend if you're using cream shadows, even though today we're not, uh, I still wanted a primer that was just going to last and it is really good. This has quickly become my top primer. It's not beige. It's kind of more of like a light peachy nude, I want to say, but it's just perfect. It just blends right into the skin. All right, let's start off with this color and see where it, I mean, I haven't tried this on my eyes yet, so we'll see where this lies. I'm probably going to use, because this is like a thinner brush, like the, the head of this is really thin on that side. So it's either more of a good one to like lay down or really get into, if you have hooded eyes, it's really good to really get into that crease or um, just really packing on in the corner. So we'll probably use it for packing and then kind of blending out the crease a little. 
so what I think we're gonna do is just see where this shade takes us I just want to see what this color looks like as you can tell see it was really not I mean there's a little bit of pigment there which is fine let's see what it would look like on a clean brush We'll take this Hakahoto one and just, it's clean. See, yeah, you can definitely go into the crease with this one too. It would just be a very natural. It would show up more if you had lighter skin than me though. Like I wish this one was just a little bit darker, but you know, there's a rhyme to her reason. So I'm sure there's a reason why she put this color tone in there. It's still pretty though. I love it. It's beautiful. No complaints. All right, we're gonna go into this color, which, oh, I'm so, so, so obsessed with. That is Rope, and it's a warm beige matte. All right, let's go into this Sigma E35. It's like their gold version. It's so pretty. I had to buy this because it was so beautiful. It's really cute. I'll put the link below. I just love the gold glitter. Okay, you guys know I'm just a sucker for gold and a sucker for glitter. So it's brand new. I'm gonna take that onto that color right there. It's like a mustard brown. It's so pretty. One of my favorites in a palette is this type of tone. How pretty is that color, you guys? Whew. I am just gonna kind of go with it. I really don't know what look I'm going for today, but I'm just gonna go with it. Just whatever my creativity takes me right now. As always, Natasha Denona puts out such beautiful mattes. Some of the best mattes on the market come from Natasha Denona and Busy Art. Just incredible. Although you guys, when I picked up this eyeshadow set on Sigma, I quickly fell in love with this palette. So I will be doing this on my channel. It's called Ritzy, very affordable palette. And I will be doing a look with that because it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But this shadow, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Do you guys see it? Like literally like two seconds and it's blended out. And what you can do is just blend out the edges with that. Oh yeah, see how easy that is? That literally blends out your edges. So actually it's not a bad color to have in the palette because it really does help you clean up. See, perfect. And you don't have to use your face powder because face powder would do something similar to it. But I think this is better because it's giving you an actual tone. It just blends it out so easily. It's so easy. All right, now let's use her brush that it comes with. It's so cute, I just love this brush. And it has like that green metallic in there. Oh, it's one of my favorite colors. All right, we're gonna take the darker brown and start just kind of deepening out the corners. I think the star of the show is gonna be Jubilee and we're gonna put it all over the lid. Uh, there's a helicopter going overhead right now, so you guys are probably gonna hear that. So I'm just going to just start playing with eyeshadow and turn on the music. Yeah, that's a good brush. Just laying it down. All right, I'm gonna clean it off on the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to start blending it. So I don't really like packing it with this wide of a brush just because I don't have that much real estate there. So for me, I would just like it better, I think just for like a brush that goes right there. Just like a really quick one and done type shadow. I am gonna go back with that brush and I'm gonna go to this color, that uh, first darker color we used. And then just, yeah, see I like it better for that. So soft. This does really mimic squirrel hair, you guys, because I have squirrel hair brushes. Japanese squirrel hair brushes that are like amazing and this does mimic it so pretty I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G uh, mini booster go back into that brown the best part about this palette is let's just say you're on you're going out of town for the holidays you can literally just do like those colors and just have like a day of just browns and golds and then you can do one night where you just pop and you use that, you know, what I'm gonna do today because that's just, it's just so beautiful. So as you guys know, I have my, always have my Natasha Denona O2 Medium Contour Powder, which is my absolute, that's what I have on today. That's what I'm sculpting with my nose and my bone structure. And I just like using this too to really just kind of diffuse out and bring some depth into the look. And it gives that kind of cool tone depth in there. So now I'm gonna take that Jubilee right in the middle. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. All right, let's try it with the finger first. You know, Natasha always recommends using her, your finger. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. 
And then we'll go in with a brush to really get into the detail of it all. Wow, wow. This is the color that made me want to buy the big Metropolis palette. Even with the brush, this pigmentation is crazy good. I'm going in with a little bit smaller of a detail brush. Whoa, that's pretty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm gonna take an even, another just a Morphe smaller brush. I'm gonna take that gold right there. And we're just gonna kind of put that onto the inner corner on top of that. I actually just like the turquoise better. We're just gonna add in a little bit more so it's not so prominent, but it puts some gold into the turquoise. That is just so beautiful, you guys. Wow insanely pretty. I don't know if this is going to be available anymore. This is the Marc Jacobs um, eyeliners, but this is going to be like the perfect color. Oh yeah, that's going to be the perfect color. I'm not sure if it'll be available because you guys know Marc Jacobs did a huge uh, sale and they're kind of doing a transition with their brand. So I don't know if it's available, but any kind of Urban Decay one, like you guys know, Mainline is one of my favorites that would work too. But since this color is like perfect, I'm going to put this into the waterline. Oh my gosh, that's like the perfect color right there. And I'll, if this is not available, I'll try to find ones that are. And I'm gonna be smudging that out with the green, so don't worry. What I love about these Marc Jacob liners are they're so creamy that they're easy to smudge out. Do you guys see how that just kind of smudges out? And kind of flick that up and give a reverse cat eye too a little bit. We're gonna take this little Morphe No Number brush, go back into that Jubilee, and put that on the edge. And another look could be that doing just the copper on the top and just doing the green on the bottom would be another beautiful look too. It really brings out your brown eyes. Now I'm going to take just a softer brush. This is just my MAC. 219, I love this brush. And we're gonna take this mustardy color, blend the edges right back, guys. All right, you guys, this is how the look came together, and I cannot tell you how much I love this eyeshadow look. Oh my goodness. So I popped on my Lily Lashes. This is the Faux Miami that they sell at Ulta. They're my favorite of all the Lily Lashes. And I thought I'd just switch it up a little bit. This is seriously one of my favorite eyeshadow looks I have ever created period. I just love it, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. So I did uh, top off my lips. I kind of had this on already, but I just kind of refreshed it a little bit. And I did the Natasha Denona Noah, I think it's NB2 lip liner. I love her lip liners. They're so amazing. If you're looking for a good lip liner during the Sephora sale, get your hands on this one. I will put all the colors below. And of course, Charlotte, you think I need a new one? Oh my goodness. I use this all the time. This is one of my favorite nudes ever created. Natasha nailed it. And her lip formula is so comfortable. It's it's mattifying and it stays, but it's comfortable. I wanted to keep it kind of nude because we have the eyes so smoky and so just scrumptious. <laughs> and then I did put the Lip Foria Natasha Denona. I think this is nude. I'll put the color right there. Love her lip glosses. Love, love, love. But you know, I just had to go a little extra mile. And I did put a little bit of my Dior uh, 013. This is the Lip Maximizers. I talked about this in my, I want to say October, no, sorry, September. If I, I haven't done October yet. Faves and Veils. So you can check out that video. And I also just did the very center with my Fenty gloss gloss bomb and this is in I don't know I'll put the color right there I think it's called sweet mouth but it's like with the dollar sign sweet with the s <laughs> it's one of my favorites of all the luminizers I love all the colors I have all I have most of them but I really love sweet mouth for just really accentuating like kind of making your lips look a little bit fuller it just looks so pretty and that gloss is insanely good I did use the Natasha Denona liquid liner which I really like it really does stay and it's so precise that it doesn't like make the line too thick and I only want it thin enough for, so that my false lashes have something to hold on to and there's no gap and then I like to go underneath the eye with my makeup forever aqua resist color pencils these are the only liners that do not bleed when you put them in the upper water line most of them will bleed onto the bottom this is the only one that doesn't i can't remember who i was talking to but one of my subscribers you'll know who who i'm talking about um loves this too and she thought they were going out of stock or like 
discontinued because Sephora never has them, but Makeup Forever site does have all the colors. So love it. This is just black. It is so incredible. That's my favorite, favorite of pencil liners ever. It does not bleed. I mainly stuck to this Jubilee. It's really packing it on the corner and I really kind of brought it out more than I normally do. Normally I would do like the darker and I like it better you guys. It really didn't need a whole lot and I am obsessed with this look but I can't wait to also dive into this copper and really kind of give a similar look but with the copper instead of the green just to kind of play around with. All of these colors were superior. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. It was just insanely beautiful this is by far I'm gonna do something a little different so that my videos are not so lengthy instead of going over like every single category one by one on my rankings if you're new to my channel I like to rank my products and really I just want to give it an overall score and I'm just gonna make sure I conclude packaging product claims application shade range and pricing all into one and just give you my final amount of stars that I would recommend. Her packaging for her minis is perfect. They're tightly compact. The shade range was unbelievable. The application was unbelievable. They're just so incredibly pigmented and creamy and easy to apply, especially for mature skin. I really loved this brush. Um, this is more like for specific uses, in my opinion, you're still gonna need other brushes. But if you were on the go, and let's just say you were out of town and you were like, I just need to pick up an eyeshadow palette, this is really good to pick up if it's still available because you can just create the whole look with this if you wanted to, because you can use these metallics with your fingers. But the wonderful thing about these metallics is that they really went on, especially the metallic, the green, with your finger and with a brush, equally good. So I really do appreciate that. I love it. Five out of five stars, you guys. 100% of me would tell you to pick this up. It's limited edition if you ever had your eyes on the Metropolis palette, but like me, didn't want to pull the gun on a $129 palette. For $25, you're getting a brush and extremely amazing eyeshadow shades extremely amazing unbelievable as far as the makeup forever powder that we did test out i like it you guys it is beautiful if you have oily skin i think you're going to really love 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 this powder for someone like me with normal to dry i don't know how much i would recommend it i'd probably stick to like hourglass or something like that for as far as loose powders go i'm gonna give it for someone like me four out of five stars it's not five out of five for me because i don't have oily skin probably if i had oily skin it would be a five out of five i do think it's better than the laura mercier one i really really do because i think it caters to both dry normal and oily skin so really appreciate that i want to top this off with the one size um oh wait on till i said oh oh <laughs> on till dawn mattifying spray this runs 30 dollars. it does come in two sizes it's waterproof aerosol spray with a 16 hour wear it features a texture solving ingredients to absorb oil and help tighten the pores giving a blurred flawless matte finish it has green tea extract which helps tighten pores and witch hazel which absorbs oil for a blurred matte finish so we're going to try it on it's like a normal aerosol a lot like my morphe continuous spray that i like but this is a little bit more controlled the only thing is is the smell on this i don't like the smell i wish she would have done scent free completely but it is a good spray it almost feels like you're spraying hairspray on though so I love everything about this spray, but the smell. So for me, that's a three out of five stars. I just, if that was something you were interested in, I just feel like I'm spraying hairspray on my skin. So I wish it was just a little bit lighter feel like the continuous Morphe one and zero scent. I'm surprised you put a scent in there, but it's still pretty. It makes my skin look good. I already sprayed a little bit earlier. I did use my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in number two for my bronzing and then i obviously used this as my contour the natasha dinner like i already mentioned and i did use this cover fx blush in warm honey i really like this color for uh i don't need to put more on but you if i wanted to put more on i would use like oh this came with that um sigma set too which is i love these dual fiber brushes because when something has a lot of pigment you want to kind of stick to more dual fiber brushes and this is a really good one. It's air light and you can just really pack it on without overdoing it. 
Plus it really applies hourglass products really well as well. But I love this color. It really just went with the look. I always use Pink Dahlia and then the peach one, but I really like this warm honey. It is beautiful. They don't have this at Sephora though. They used to cover FX. At, they used to have cover FX at Sephora. I don't know what happened, but anyway, that's the look. I mean, that's pretty much everything I have on my face. Again, everything will be in the description box below. Comment below. Let me know if this is something that you had your eyes out on. If that was, if the Metropolis palette was something you always wanted or you already own it, tell me if the textures are the same. I'm assuming the formula is exactly the same, but I don't have the Metropolis palette to you know, confirm that. I do want to quickly mention you guys, because I didn't buy the mini glam or the little miniature glam, which is like an ornament, but three of the shades in that are in the glam palette. They're not new shades. That's the only reason why I didn't purchase it. And I'd rather get the mini glam one during the Sephora sale. Cause that's the only mini I don't own. And the three colors in that ornament weren't colors that I was extremely excited about. You have crease, transition and outer eyelid. If you were interested, those are the three shades that are in there. I hope you enjoyed this look. So next week we are going to tackle all of my Sephora recommendations. Rouge starts November 5th. I am so sorry. I had the wrong dates last week. I put the wrong picture up. So we will cover all of that next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching you guys. And if you are new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. So you get notified. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And I don't want you guys to miss a video and make sure that you are subscribed. Somebody last week mentioned that they were subscribed and for some reason they missed one of my videos because YouTube unsubscribe them for some reason. So make sure you are subscribed. Even if you do come back every week and you thought you were subscribed, make sure that red button's hit just in case I've heard that happen to other YouTubers. So please, and the notification bell as well. Make sure you're constantly checking my community page for updates and all that and sales. I tend to post that on my community and on my Instagram. Make sure you're following me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on my TikTok, Christy Allure, and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com, where all the swatches and details of the products will be. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I love you so much and I will see you next Sunday. Bye. Ew.